Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. Here is an overview of the new features in Eugene versions 1.28, 1.29 and 1.30. A very important feature that has been introduced in Eugene 1.29 is a new sequence editing mode. To activate it, click on the edit button on the left toolbar of the sequence. Now a cursor is blinking prompting you to insert characters into the sequence as in an ordinary text editor. To replace a region, select it and type other characters. Pressing the delete button will remove the selected region. Usual copy-paste technique is also supported. Select Actions, Edit, Annotation settings on sequence editing in order to configure the options available for treating annotations affected by the editing. For example, let's split an annotation. To deactivate the editing mode, click the edit button again. Note that now the wrapping option is enabled by default and all amino acid translation frames are hidden. Let's take a look at the settings available for configuration of the translation's visibility. A new option, Translate Selection, has been added in Eugene 1.29. It allows you to translate only a selected region of the sequence. You can also select all translation frames as in previous Eugene versions. Or, you can set up the required frames manually. A few updates of the sequence selection have also been released. The new selection tweaking feature allows you to expand or constrict the selection. Simply drag the selection border with the mouse to modify the selection. Since Eugene version 1.30, the selection of an annotation with a single click does not automatically select the corresponding sequence region. If you want to select a sequence region covered by an annotation, double click Another new feature is the support of the Vector NTI Align X format. If you open the aforementioned file in Eugene, you can either work with it in a read-only mode or convert it to a writable format like FASTA. Tweaking a region selection has also been included in the Alignment Editor. Here you can drag the top, the bottom and the corners of the selection rectangle. Thank you for watching the podcast.